So, I haven't made a pencil project for quite some time. And as you know, I kind of like my pencils. I've done quite a few pencil projects, as you know, bowls and vases and pots and bits and pieces. I was looking at these pencils and I was thinking to myself, what can I make out of these pencils? What about a huge pencil? I'm kind of talking this big and maybe this long. I don't know if I've got enough pencils for that. Maybe I have, but I thought actually that would be kind of quite cool and definitely funky. Latigra. I've got myself a lot of pots. I've got these ones. I've got these off of eBay. And they do do them on Amazon as well. I've got this one, which is a bit bigger than this one. So we could put all the pencils in this pot and maybe make a couple of these and then have it out here. But I'm thinking this is not thick enough. What about this one? This one's a bit bigger. Not as long, but that doesn't matter. But it's much thicker. And I'm thinking now this would be quite cool. Another one like that, another one like this. So we kind of end up with a kind of a size of a pencil like this, but I don't even think that's big enough. We need to have a few more, so maybe we bring it. Maybe we kind of bring it out like this, kind of really long. So we do need quite a lot of pencils for this project, but I do have a few and a few more and a few more. And some more. I've quite a lot of pencils, but I still don't think we've got enough. I'm going to have to hit eBay and clean out all the pencils. So I've no idea how this is going to turn out, so I'm just as intrigued as you are. Okay, so here we go. There's three uh, made up now, three blanks. We've got to get these in the pressure pot and leave them overnight. We're probably going to need maybe another three, possibly four, to make up this large pencil.
Okay, so we have uh, got three blanks so far. Uh, what I'm going to do is I've just put the resin in between these two and just to glue these up together, leave this overnight. Uh, we put another two in the pressure pot, but I've now run out of pencils again. <laughs> so I think we're going to have probably another another two on top of this two. So I reckon that should just about be enough. Now, obviously I know this is out of shape, but what we're going to plan to do is put these uh blanks on the lathe i think we do them at three at a time so i'll leave i'm going to leave this overnight uh and then what we do is we get this up on the lathe and see if we can round it out it's going to be a little bit smaller than that once we finish with it because we need to try to make it all the same diameter all the way around but um it's looking pretty cool So we've got now three uh, set up here. I've just glued this one on top. I've just used some epoxy resin in there. And uh, this one we've already got, which we've turned on the lathe. So I think that's gonna be enough because putting that on top of there, that's quite big and it's really heavy as well. So when you get that up there, that's gonna be pretty tall. And then don't forget, we've got the piece of wood, which we need to put on the top for the pencil and then the actual crayon pencil as well so I think that's going to be quite a good size pencil <laughs> so just leave this to set up now uh, once that's done we'll put this on the lathe make this round get that attached to this section and then we will start developing our pencil Oh, <laughs> so now we've got our three bits now. I think that's all we're really going to need, I think, to make this pencil. I mean, once we put the wooden bit on the top and then also the pencil bit, it's going to be pretty big as it is. I don't think we need any more blanks. I have got a spare one, but I think we can use, you know, do something else with that later on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to uh, glue this one up as well with resin, uh, which is that one in there, and that will stick that to there and then we will move on to the end of the pencil um, but I think actually looking at it now I was gonna leave it round but you know what I'm thinking that we don't and I'm thinking that we make it a hexagon uh, which are like these so this is like a hexagon shape I don't know if you can see that can you see that no no there <laughs> so I think we want to do that I think because I don't know it just makes it look a little bit more Kind of interesting i think rather than just being round um this is nowhere near finished yet obviously we're going to um obviously well, we're going to cut the hexagon inside it once we get the top on it and figure out what we're going to do with the actual pencil lid uh so there's a few things we need to do on this yet all right we'll figure it out right let's get this glued up
Okay, so there's the uh, bottom of the pencil, uh, looking pretty cool. So uh, I'm not gonna, you know, like shine this up or anything like that. I think it just kind of needs to be sort of fairly natural, really, looking like that. Um, obviously, this will glue up to that once I've glued this together to this, um, and then hopefully we'll have some kind of form of pencil. Then what we need to do is think about the kind of lead because we want this to be a working pencil so we've got to put some uh, lead inside here or, or crayon or something it's got to go in here right, I'm thinking a crayon nice piece of crayon in the end there that would look really cool I reckon so and then once this is done and glued up we need to cut this up into a hexagonal shape <laughs> this is gonna look so funky getting uh, closer so what we've got now we've got this the top of the pencil so what we need to do is glue this on the top here now what you'll notice as well is obviously you've got the hexagon shape here so what we're going to do is we're just going to knock off these edges just because this blends into a circle uh, so the hexagon pencil it just sort of blends around when you look at it it blends around into a circle there so this is what we've got so far I'm going to glue this up leave this overnight uh, and then we'll come back to that in the morning. But this is looking funky. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I'm gonna use a bit of Gorilla Glue for this bad boy, because gorillas are tough. Now, yes, I should have some gloves on for this, but it's only a little finger, and I will wipe my finger afterwards. Okay, I've got this pencil up in the lathe, and that will leave that overnight to uh, set. I actually think that this size actually now, looking at it, is probably a better size for this pencil. I mean, you know, it's still a large pencil. I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, that is, yeah, that's a small pencil, a normal size pencil. This is the big one. So, I mean, before when we had it, it was a lot chunkier, yeah, I know, but uh, this is gonna be much easier to use, guys. Now I've got to wait for this to cure. Still, 
solidified in there. But uh, once that dries, hopefully we can just open this up and that will slot quite nicely in the end of our pencil. It took about 10 to 12 minutes in there to do that. It took ages. So that's pretty cool though. Right, let's leave that for a little bit and we'll come back to that in a minute. Now this is one huge pencil, don't you think? And it draws and everything. <laughs> Just look at the size of this thing. Now who remembers this from years back? Yes folks, some of you may have seen this before, um, but look at it. I just looked at it the other day and I thought to myself, you know what? There's so many people that probably have not seen this video. Um, and it's an oldie, but a goodie, if you know what I'm saying. And this has got the emblem of 003, uh, when I first got my emblems from Von Hank. <laughs> Don't forget he's doing 15% discount, folks. Link below. But I hope you enjoyed this one, especially if you haven't seen this one before. This was a really big project of mine. I mean, look at it. <laughs> Actually turned out pretty, pretty cool, I think. Um, I did enjoy making this. Got the old crayon in there as well at the top. So it's a proper, it's a proper working pencil, guys. If you did like this one, please could you share this video? Uh, it would really help. Like it, comment below on what you think. See if you can guess how big it is and how much it weighs. And then what I'll do is I'll do another little short uh, video or clip or comment and let you know who's the winner not that there's any prizes involved at all 
Folks, don't forget also, I have got a second channel now. It's called Nick Zametti Wood Turning. You'll find the link below. Um, it's basically shorter videos, no music, no jabbering away of me. Uh, some people like it, some people don't. But I thought I would make a second channel because I can add extra content to it. Uh, snappy, quickie, little videos that you might like. Um, I would love for you to subscribe to that channel. Please check out the link below. I'll see you there. Thanks guys for watching this one. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and, and I hope you're all having a fantastic week.